So hackathons are these time-limited competitions during which students come, uh, sort of team up, and then build anything they want to build. So a lot of people build like robots or make apps, websites, uh, games, stuff like that. Sort of the point of this was to apply um, what they're learning in the classroom. So if they take computer science courses or electronics courses, robotics courses, um, and take those sort of canned projects that they work on in a classroom and apply those same skills to build anything they want, to build something that they're excited about. We look for opportunities to empower students all the time. FC Hacks is one example of that. Three students came, they wanted to make a change, they wanted to not only do something for high school students that's never been done in the region, but really intentionally, they wanted to include students who have never been exposed to computer science. And that's not typical of a hackathon. It's really important sometimes to almost get out of the way let students and youth lead and see what possibilities are there. They're really endless. So we have tons of great activities planned for students throughout the day. Um, so at the beginning of the day, they heard from Dave Mawini, who is a serial entrepreneur. He started and sold four tech companies. And then students started hacking. So uh, students had about 10 hours to build their projects. And throughout that time, we had different workshops. Uh, one of the things that we had in the morning was brainstorming and team formation. And so after brainstorming and team formation, uh, we had different workshops. So 3D printing, uh, we had a really popular Android app development workshop. We also had a workshop for beginners um, and so we taught them very quickly how to get started with hardware and software. Um, we also had Python programming, something like machine learning. So machine learning is this technology where you can actually teach a computer how to solve a problem. So rather than writing the code yourself to like tell a computer this is how you do it, you give a computer a lot of examples and it learns how to solve the problem. And so we had someone from UPMC come in and talk about how to use machine learning uh, to help diagnose and predict diseases. We also had Arduino, so Arduino is this microcontroller. Um, it's basically this mini computer that you can hook different sensors and electronics up to. And then it is able to uh, sort of use sensor inputs and command motors, uh, do different things like that. So it's really popular and really useful in robotics and stuff like that. Um, and so we had an intro to Arduino workshop where we taught students how to use those. A lot of students are currently like using, building hardware hacks. Um, and so, uh, I think it's really cool that students are sort of combining hardware and software, and they're not just using what they learned in their CS classes, but also from electronics classes and robotics classes, shop classes, different things like that. At the core, this event is about innovation and um, getting people to innovate and then take those ideas and make them a reality. So the thing I, I am most excited about is, is really watching the kids take their ideas and create something with them. And, and so that's what we're already seeing, and that's what I'm really looking forward to seeing at the end, is what have they done, what ideas have they taken to the next level, and then where they're gonna go with them in the future. Students have brought um, their own devices, they've jumped right in. Uh, I'm really, really impressed with the depth already that, that these students have in, in many of the uh, areas that, that they're uh, focused in on, programming, robotics, uh, hardware development. So it's, it's, it's just really fabulous and there's a lot of energy and the kids seem really excited. And even though the hackathon was a competition, we were really trying to have that collaborative environment. So some kids like, to, um, like use their time to like help others understand a concept better instead of like maybe bettering their project to like win the overall thing and I think that spirit of really working together is really what like engineering and like science and STEM are like all about about like using everyone's different backgrounds to create a better product to like benefit society. Pittsburgh is a really special place. It's a special place because there are so many stakeholders dedicated to making life better for youth. And, you know, obviously, FC Hacks have to, has to really thank Eaton. They are our main sponsor. We had so many sponsors for this event, from Bird Brains to Dot Tech. We were really lucky to have those sponsors, and this event wouldn't have happened without their support. But furthermore, we have an entire network here called Remake Learning. Remake Learning is a network of stakeholders that are dedicated to introducing digital literacy and inspiring innovation and just providing so many opportunities for Pittsburgh region, southwestern Pennsylvania, and people in West Virginia to thrive in the educational space. But it's also really important to note that we had tons of volunteers from Fox Chapel Area School District, from South Fayette School District. So many people came together to make this event happen. We're really lucky to have all of these dedicated people in the Pittsburgh region. 